reversing a string. Inversing a string means it is simple. Input a string one. If it is Z A F A R, it will be inversed. R A F A Z exactly in reverse order. Okay, so what basically will happen? The run length loop that we were running to pick up one character at a time. We will run this loop now in reverse order. Okay, so instead of one to five, we will run it run it from five to one, five, four, three, two, one, and we will pick one character from the opposite side this time. So what basically happened that you need to understand that. The way we can run for next loops forward, we can run for uh, for next loops backward as well. But when you run these backward, you would have to tell that step is now minus one. So, a word about for next loops. So, if I write for i is equal to one to ten, that is step plus one. Which is a default step, and you don't have to actually do anything else. And whatever the code that you write will go in between, and then we would have next i or next. But if you like it to be from ten to one, and if you don't do that extra thing with the step minus one, what will happen? That this i. Will go from ten to eleven, and this loop will not work. So, if you are going backwards, you have to put this step minus one optional instruction clause additionally. So, the thing is that step plus one is basically by default. If you write it, it doesn't matter. If you don't, system knows. But if you like to go backwards, then you would have to put this optional clause at the end of the for statement, so that system would know that this ten will go towards one step minus one. If you ignore it, skip it, system will not run this loop. All right. So we are going to use this inversing with this reverse loop. Okay. So we run the process. Backward from the length of the string to one. Length of the string is five. We go five to one. So now we will be picking up from fifth location one character. So this will be Z then. Sorry, R. And then it will become four. I will become four. So we will be become pick, picking up A then. Fit then. I will become three. Then I will become two. Then I will become one. That is how the loop will go backwards. So we take input, we read it backwards. We read it backwards, and we pick one character and put it in another string, the string two. So we pick one character from the end of first string and put it at the start of the next string. We take second string from the right side, which is. The uh, character before the last string, and then we will pick this way from right to the left, one by one, in the reverse way, and we will be putting that in another string in forward way. All right. So let's see if it works properly. Let's first run this program. See if it is working. A B C D E F. This has become F E D C B A. Or for better understanding, one two three four five, and this has become five four three two one. So it is working fine. Let's see how the whole process one by one works. So let's say I enter one two three four. Now the length of string one is four, 
So this will go back four to one step minus one. So this time I will be four. You can observe over here. I is four and fourth character, which is four will be picked up and it will be put in a string two. So a string two was null. Now it has become four. Then I becomes three. It is going backward. You can see that I has become now three. So we pick three and put it in another string. Now it has become four and three because we are putting in forward order. We are reading in backward order. Then I has become two. The second character is two. It will be substituted. And then I has become one. One is added. Loop finishes and then we out four, three, two, one. So this was something which is for the reverse loop. All right. You might say that there are functions in Visual Basic which will do this for us before getting through the whole thing, whole effort. But the thing is that your slavers wants you to do it simply running the loops with your own logic. That is how you will get, go get marks for it. Okay, we are not going to use any built-in function for it until or unless that function is given in the past paper and it is the part of the question. Okay, so now we have done five string manipulation functions. We will do rest five in next class. Until then, all these functions and their codes are uploaded to my GitHub account. You can always look into them, use them for your practices and all. So thank you very much. Until uh, next lecture, Sunday morning, I'll join you back for P2 string manipulation. And next class would be the last class for P2 string manipulation. Afterwards, uh, we will start structured programming, writing subroutines like functions, procedures, and all, and everything related. In string manipulation, the last part is basically format check, format check. You would have to actually accept one string and you will have to check if the string is entered as per the given format or not. So that is also part of string manipulation. And in a way that format check is the validation. So you might see the word string validation for that format check. So your screen is not visible. So your screen, your screen was not shared. If there is a condition to count, my screen was not shared all the time. Oh, I'm sorry for that. So let me share practice five. This was inversing a string. Sir, if there is a condition to count a star and other signs as well, how we will do that either by the ASCII code or by initialization? Uh, I hope that you mean by initialization, you mean what? By initialization, you mean by putting them in single code and checking them directly? Yes, you will do that individually for every character. If those characters are not basically uh, in a series, you would have to actually check those separately. We will do that. We will do that. There is a question that says that find the vowels. Find vowels. Okay, which is sixth. The next one, we will look into it. That this is not the series. This is not A to Z. These are separate characters. Okay, so we will see that how we will find each of them in the string. Okay, and count them, whatever. 
All right. So let me show this code once again, how it is running. One, two, three, four, five. It has become five, four, three, two, one. So the code is working fine with the reverse loop. A, B, C, D, E, F. It has become F, E, D, C, B, A. All right, and here is the reverse loop. Okay, from the length of the string to one, step minus one, okay? A, B, C, D. So the length of the string is four. So this I will go from four to one. So first time I is four. Okay. So from fourth position, one character will be picked up using mid function and will be assigned to character one, that is D. Then this D will become part of a string two then I will become automatically because it is going back step minus one, I has become three. Then the character from the third location will be picked up which is C and it will be merged with, concatenated with the string two and it now appears ahead of D. Then second character because I has become two, then A, all right? All characters are now added to string two in reverse order, and then they will be output. So A, B, C, D has become D, C, B, A. Now, this is it for today, we will do rest five of those practices, including the last one, which is validation, not manipulation. Manipulation is when you have a string and you are doing so many things on it. Validation is when you input the string and you check against the format. And if it fulfills the format, it means the string that is input is valid. Otherwise it is invalid. So we will look into it. Next.